Okay, what we'll need for this, we have a solar panel drill, computer fan, strippers, 20 gauge wire, solar charger controller, and a 12 volt battery. Oh, and beer, check. Red goes on the red. Just like that. Put the battery up first, that way once you put your solar panel out, immediately it starts charging the battery. Now, as you've seen, I had this battery on a trickle charger for the last couple days just to the try to bring it back from the dead. Goes. The sun is over the solar panel, the fans will always be running, but say a cloud covers the sun a little bit, not as much power is going to be getting through, and your fans will stop. What this battery does is it, the solar charger will immediately know that the power is shut off and it will start using this for the load. It just turns or it, it just converts it quickly. Here it is. It's uh, maybe a little bit bigger than the size of a cigarette pack and it costs right around ten dollars. Now some of these will cost fifty dollars. They have even better ones but really all you need for a simple system like this is just a ten dollar solar charger controller. Okay, now how do we wire it? Now first we take the battery. It's really cool because right on here, it dumbs it down for you and it shows you this is where the battery goes. This is where your panel goes. And this is what you want so for the load. So we are going to build a stand for this, but for now, it's just like this. And that will, uh, that'll work. Look at how primitive this is. Rock. Okay. Okay, so we have our battery. And you notice how the light came on, and now it shows you how much battery is remaining. It looks like we have about, I don't know, there's life in the battery. So we got positive. Oh, these are all the way screwed down. Come on, baby, get in there. It's about 90 degrees today. It's only about 80 something right now. It's working on, on its way up. It's about noon. Okay, so now we just have to go hook up the solar panel. Our solar panel. This is a 20 watt solar panel. It's awesome. <laughs> it's not very expensive. I'll put a description. I'll put a link in the description. And right on the very back of it, you can see um, it shows all the schematics and shows that it's 20 watt up here. And you can barely see the screen in the sun. It's so bright out here. So I hope that shows up. But uh, so now all we got to do is just hook up positive and the negative. So my line, you can see this, my line, I dragged it, it all the way to out to here. Wiring. The longer the line, the harder it is to get your voltage to your battery. So you want them as short as possible. So just keep that in mind. And now all we gotta do is just connect them. Red to red. And as soon as we get this connected, and we put this out where the sun's hitting it, the battery is That's how it's, just for now, that's how the panel's gonna, gonna work until we get our shelf built. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount a shelf to our golf picture, or plaque, or whatever you call that. Now our fans will all hook up to these terminal blocks. The bottom one's for the positive and the top terminal block is for the negative. It's just that simple. So we just go right down the line. These are these are wires that are all cut to a length to fit all the fans in that direction and that direction. So so we know the fan all the way to that farthest side of the rabbitry is the terminal block all the way farthest. And you know, strike that and reverse it for this side. It's all the way that way. So so this is what our fans hook up to. 
Now it's important, in order to get this power, we have to hook the terminal blocks up to the solar charger. So that will be the light, the bulb section. So we're gonna hook that up right now. I'm gonna have to go reapply my off. Mosquitoes are just horrible. All the rain that we had in Michigan this year, it's, it's just made them horrible. So I thought I had a bad computer fan. I wasn't getting any power. I'm like, what the heck? So I went and got another fan and I still didn't get it to run. So then I tracked it back down to the terminal block and I realized this screw, this wire was loose. So make sure that your wiring's tight. Um, okay, so getting back to what we were originally trying to do here. So make sure you find the positive and you got the negative and you touch these. There it goes. That's simple. And that's it. That you take all these mosquitoes. Whew, my sun hat off. I know this looks ridiculous, but I tell you what, it's it's 90 today. And under this hat it feels 75. I'm gonna actually put these into the description. Um, I recommend them. You can't go golfing them in or nothing, but it really keeps you out of the sun. So what's the easiest way to wire these fans? Take your spool, strip the wires, and first just hook this up to the terminal. First put the wire in there. Okay, wires in. Nice and tight. And now we're gonna put the positive on. Normally you wrap the wire clockwise, but for some reason this never wants to stay on when I wrap it clockwise, which doesn't make any sense. This is the Bermuda Triangle of terminals. So I have to put it on backwards for some reason. All right, so we're hooked up. I have a screw that I put in right here so I can wrap it tight once I get it to where I want it because we want these connections to be as short as possible to maximize our power. So once we get the wire to where we're gonna send it over, just give it about another two feet, two and a half feet, three feet. That's enough to get it down the side of the cage and hooked on the side. So you can see where the wire is popping out. We just popped it through there. So makes the job so much easier and you can go to any computer store and buy these computer fans for $15 and if you say you're gonna buy two or three most likely you can talk them down to ten bucks a piece you know some of you guys are probably much better dealers than me and uh, or bargainers whatever you call it than me and you can get these for pretty cheap so I usually stockpile them whenever I'm at like a computer store for whatever. I'll pick myself up a couple of computer fans. So you don't have to worry about this electricity shocking you like a regular wiring in a wall or something. I've got poison ivy all over my hand, so I'm trying to, I keep scraping it and bumping it, so I'm trying to keep it from blistering and making it I worse. I took little pieces of wire and you can feed it right through the little holes in the fan and just about maybe five inches of wire and bend it around hook it right onto it and look at her she's like why is this thing not on turn this thing on watch I'm gonna go turn it on she's gonna love it you can see that that says 0.2 amps so we take that 0.2 times 12 volts so you times the amps times volts and that will give us we'll run five fans off that one panel. But say, well, we got 10 cages. We'll then put in another 20 watt So she has her panel. ice bottle, she's got her fan. It's blowing that ice cold air on her. And this is how she's going to beat this heat today. You know, these rabbits, they can't sweat. They got this fur coat. I can't imagine what this must be like, so 
we want to make sure these rabbits are healthy and feel as about as comfortable as they can be in this heat and I'm happy to say at the Rabbit Tree Center we've never lost a rabbit to heat stroke and we don't want to so that's why we go this extra mile to make sure they're comfortable. Some of these totes you know when they're working they're nursing their litter they don't have an opportunity to hang out in their cooling tote so we got to make sure these bottles and these fans are out. easiest way to get these hooked up. This is how we do it. Take the wire and take the, the coating off the wiring. <sighs> For those of you who haven't been bit by an ant, oh my god, that is a painful little thing. Alright, getting back to what we were doing.